Good morning, good morning, good morning. Great day to be a Bronco. Principal Diaz coming to you. Today, I am supporting my EKU colonels. That's right, Colonel Pride. I um, relocated from sunny South Florida, where I was a science teacher at South Miami Senior High, and I went to Eastern Kentucky University to receive not one, but two master's degrees. And I have a very, very strong spot in my heart for that campus, that university, and everything they were able to help me um, with as I grew as a student and a learner and gained my principal certificate amongst other um, degrees that I gained. So I wanna send that college awareness message out to you. Uh, it's, you know, they're going through the same type issues that we're going through in regards to how they're providing instruction for their students and really how they've had to shift the enrollment and application process to meet our needs because the truth is and this is the truth ladies and gentlemen those colleges need you just as much as you need them they need students on campus and in their classrooms or on their online classes so that they can continue to thrive as a university. So with that being said, I just wanted to put that plug in there. Make sure you're reaching out to our college and career readiness coach, Ms. Jones. If you are interested in specific colleges and information, we still are doing virtual college meetings and college campuses and providing different opportunities through our Google Classrooms for you guys to engage with college recruiters. Wanted to send that out there. Yesterday I made notion to, and I explained the concept of no new content on Fridays. That starts this Friday. So Friday is going to be a day from here forward that we use to catch up, to review, to learn what we might have missed, to get a chance to conference with our teachers and really, um, work on some of the things that wasn't as clear the first time around that we got the lesson. Uh, just wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page with that. Also, because we are going for the remainder of the school year without in-person classes, we are having our non-traditional instruction continue through the last day of the school year, which is May 27th. We're going to continue to send out information through our website, through our um, communication IC, phone blast, email blast, on what our NTI plan is going to look like moving forward. But you can continue to expect a lot of the things that we have done. I met with some of the students yesterday, our um, student council and our junior class executive board and senior class executive board, and I got some good feedback. We're going to try to streamline some of the things that we're doing maybe be more um, concise, clear, and specific about our structures and the way that Canvas is working. We wanna be consistent, we wanna record some of the lessons, and we wanna make sure that we are meeting your needs as learners. So keep giving us feedback. You can email me anytime, you can contact your teachers. We wanna be here to support you and support your learning. We want that notion of the instructional core to really live and be as fluid as possible. So keeping up with your Chromebook, keeping up with your Canvas courses and communicating with your teachers in live time is essential. We are fixing Chromebooks. If you have issues, please let us know. We can provide as much support as possible. All right, I have the results and I'm pulling them up right now. I have the results for poll let me for polleverywhere.com. I have the results from this most recent poll, which is the archery team holds many records and accolades. Who holds the record for the all time highest score? That is not principal Diaz. I will tell you this principal Diaz was the very first person to shoot a bow on our target range. I got a chance to be the first person to uh, shoot a bow in, in, in archery practice. The very first day in 2000, 
in 2018 when archery practice, maybe 17 when archery practice first started. Coach asked me to come down. I said, what's going on, coach? He says, do this, do this, try this, and boom, I was not good. Nope, but I'll tell you who was good. Abigail Stevenson and Colin Phelps. 294, the all-time highest score by archery students. Um, so that is your winner for, for this um, Poe Everywhere uh, trivia question. I'll have another trivia question for you coming up tomorrow. Again, today is Wednesday, April 22nd. It is an A day. We are in the middle of the week. Um, and uh, we got some interesting news yesterday from our school and the governor of Kentucky. So we are not coming back to school. I'm sure you've been made aware of that, which means that, you know, our last day of physically being in the building with this group of seniors um, has passed. Uh, and it's just, you know, when I got to thinking about it, I told my, I told my second grader, I told Lucy that we're not going to be able to go back. And she physically broke down and started crying. I've, I've gotten several emails from parents and, and students about, um, you know, a lot of us just didn't get a chance to say goodbye or have closure or really have that, um, experience or sensation of, okay, I got to get over, I'm processing my emotions. You know, this was just very sudden. And, um, you know, we saw the writing on the wall that we were all hoping, hoping to be able to get back into the building and finalize this school year. Um, so it's sad. It's sad. And I want to say to my seniors, man, uh, my heart breaks. I love you guys. You've given up so much, so much so that we can all be healthy at home so that we can try to limit the spread of, of the Corona 19 virus, um, by giving up the tail end of your senior year. <laughs> it, it, it is, it is heartbreaking. Um, I do want to, uh let you know that we're not done by no way by no stretch of the imagination we're going to continue to move forward we're going to continue to grind we're going to continue to work hard to finalize your transcript finalize your classes um wkyt the um news outlet is doing a photo upload and they're sharing your story so if you are encouraged to and feel comfortable sharing pictures um, your graduation pictures or things of that nature, your, your team pictures or things of that are memorable to you. If you want to upload it, you can go to WKYT to their website and it's the grads 2020. They'll have a place where you can upload Frederick Douglass pictures. Um, just sharing that information, not encouraging you to do or not do. It's either it's, it's up to you guys, how you, how you want to handle that. But, um, my message is clear. We love you guys. We miss you guys. This will, this will be, we're going to miss you guys forever. This will be just uh, different the way that we finalize and culminate this school year. Um, and we don't know what it's going to look like, but it's going to be something we're going to do. We're going to honor you guys somehow, some way. I'm Lester Diaz, your principal, and it is an honor and a privilege to serve you in this capacity.